What's up YouTube? It's your boy Shane coming back to you with another video. Alright, now today's video was requested by Eric, right? So it's about dating in the Navy, dating in the military, right? Whatever you want to call it, right? So today, man, we're gonna be just diving into it, talking about how is it, how it go down, like is you know, just we just gonna talk about it, alright? So First thing first, man, make sure you guys go grab me on Instagram and also make sure you smash this like button, right? We're trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm, right? But let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing, right? Y'all know me. I'm be jumping around a little bit, right? But we just want to start off when it comes to the beginning of your military career, all right? So in boot camp, right? So if you don't know, of course, there are men and women in the military, right? So when you go to boot camp, right, they're going to be different type of divisions, right? Myself. I was in a all male division, so there was no there was no dating or that type of stuff for me, right? We would barely see women at all, um, but there is co-ed divisions, co-ed co and stuff like that. Of course, you're not living in the same compartment, right? But I think you're like across the hallway and stuff like that, um, like brother did, sister did, stuff like that. Um, now, I heard it does go down in boot camp, right? In boot camp, you definitely got right your own little uh you know got people be having like little flings and stuff like that so i've heard um if you've had any of those type of experiences right definitely go ahead and leave it down in this in the, in the comment section let us know man but um yeah people be having like little flings and stuff like that right but i will give y'all some tips man i'm gonna give y'all some tips and some tricks all right just because y'all had a little fling in boot camp y'all might have met in the laundry room or y'all might have went da 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 whatever the case is man listen bro don't cuff it man don't cuff it. Just let it stay there, bro. Just let it stay there. If it happened, it happened. That's what it is. All right. Now, getting past boot camp because that's not going to be too much of a, it's not, that's not dating. All right. But when everybody goes to A school, this is where people, man, get into them traps, bro. You are getting yourself into a trap where you're about to get your heart broke, man. Right now, it's going to be unicorn relationships out there, right? I know it's going to be somebody watching and it's like, no, I met my significant other at um an A school and we're still together. All right, that's cool. I wish the best on you. All right, but I'm going to tell you, 95 to 99% of all relationships that start in A school is going to end in a train wreck, bro. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tell you why. All right, so first things first, bro. In A school, right, let's say you go to Pensacola for A school, right? Um, right, you're going to you're gonna meet people, right? Y'all probably be going on and off base, right? I don't know how the stipulations is right now with COVID, right? But you're going on and off base, maybe sliding to the beach, right? Or let's say you got Great Lakes. A school. I don't know what y'all do out there, but you know, you're gonna meet people, right? And this is gonna be the first time outside of boot camp you can actually touch somebody. You can actually like actually have an actual conversation with somebody of the opposite sex and just not get in trouble for it, right? So so boom, that's how that works. Uh, you got a lot of relationships getting getting uh started in A school, right? Just because people have been locked away for a while, right? But I'm gonna tell you why most of them will not work, bruh, right? So check this out. After A school, you are going to your permanent duty station, all right? Now, I'm gonna tell you this, right? If you and, let's say you link up with somebody or whatever the case is and y'all start dating, right? If you guys are going to the same duty station after that, then okay, it may work, right? But if you guys are not going to the permanent duty station together, please do not try to set yourself up with a long-term relationship, bro. You are putting yourself in a trick bag because you know what's going to happen, bro. You and your significant other, right? Y'all going to go off to two different spaces, right? Let's say you go to Yakuza, Japan. They go to Bremerton, Washington. Like, like do you guys honestly think it's going to work? When you get to your first command, bro, you is not going to be wanting to Oh, let me see what my girlfriend is doing, bro. Let me see what this is doing. Let me see what that is. Like, you're not going to be trying to do all of that, bro. You trying to... You trying to figure it out yourself, bro. You trying to have fun, right? You don't want to mess up. I'm telling you, bro. You're going to be going to different port visits. You might be traveling around the world, bro. Do you really want to be locked down in a relationship the entire time? With somebody you don't even know what they're doing. And I'm not trying to put that much... Like, like, like... <laughs> Man, I'm not trying to ruin no relationships, bro, but I really want y'all to think logically, bro. It just doesn't make sense, man. All right? All right, it's not cool. Let me, like, all right, see, I ain't meet no girls in the Navy, right? And ladies, you might be like, I ain't meet no dudes in there, but I got a dude back home. Well, I got a girl back home. All right, look, I'm going to tell y'all something, bro. Jody is real. Listen, man. 
Listen, man, they like, yo, she ain't just negative towards relationships. I'm not negative towards relationships, man. I'm just a realist, bro. And I understand that if you watching this channel, bro, you watching this video, that I got some type of like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel for you, bro. I don't want you to have to go through that if you don't have to, all right? So, bro, I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some real advice. Listen, man, if you about to go join the military, bro, and you're not in a significant relationship, bro, a high school relationship is not a significant relationship, bro. If you are going into the military, what I suggest you do, I suggest you cut ties, bro. That's that's what I suggest. And here's why I suggest, because I don't want people feeling like, yo, she is just anti-relationship. She is just this. I'm not any of that, bro. I just want... You guys to live your life, right? Because I, what I don't want you to do is, I don't want you to, let's say it does work out the whole time you're in the military and then you get out. You are gonna have so much regrets because you're gonna be like, yo, I never really got to live my life fully. You know what I'm saying? Like you wanna be able to go through your early 20s and just be able to do what you wanna do while you're in those different countries, right? I'm not telling you to go there and just, I ain't telling you to go just you know, just let everybody do, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get too graphic. I'm not trying to tell you to go wild out. But what I am telling you to do is, bro, you got to find yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just get out of high school, you don't really know yourself the way you think you know yourself, bro. Like, you got to begin to go out, meet different people, right? Cross stuff off the bucket list. You got to be able to do all of that, bro, with no restraints. That way, you can have a good relationship. That way, you can learn things you need to learn to be a great person in a relationship. You guys see what I'm saying, bro? You see how I cleaned it up, made it seem real professional? That's because that's facts, bro. All right? Now, let's get back into it. Let's get into the nitty gritty when it comes to dating. Let's say you're on a carrier. All right? I'm going to tell you all how it goes down, man, right? So first things first, bro. I can't tell you the amount of times I've seen people. Listen, don't y'all know, like, when you get onto the ship or whatever and you about to leave, like, you better go on deployment and stuff like that. Right, you got the people waiting down at the dock like, oh my gosh, we're gonna miss you guys and stuff like that, right? Loved ones, significant others, all type of stuff. Listen, bro, I've seen it firsthand. I've seen I've seen a girl have on a ring, bro. Next thing you know, we go on deployment, it's gone. You catch on the mess decks, ring, gone. You know what she's gonna tell you? Oh, it's just because I'm on deployment. I don't, you know, I don't wanna mess my ring up. But guess what? It was the rubber ring. How you don't want to mess up a rubber ring, bro? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, bro, they, when they want deployment, they do them, right? Now, I'm not, now this doesn't happen for us fellas. I need you guys to understand that, right? So let's say right now you may be a girlfriend of somebody that is on deployment. That, I am not talking about him. He is excluded. That guy is, he's out there and he's messaging you back, ladies. Listen, if he's messaging you back on that ship's computer, he making sure he gets to them emails. You ain't gotta worry about that. You ain't gotta worry about that because he going out his way to make sure he send them emails off. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. But if you ain't got no contact, man, 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 man. Listen, I'm not trying to put no negative thoughts. They're like, Sheen, what you doing, bro? You messing up the game. Nah, I'm not messing up the game, bro. I'm giving the game. All right, so check this out, bro. For my fellas out there, let's say you is interested. You like, I'm trying to get dating on the Navy, in the Navy. I'm trying to see what's up on the carry. I'm trying to see what's going on. All right? I'm going to tell you how it really goes, bro. All right? So, right? So once you leave out, right, you're on deployment, right? I'm going to tell you some of the key spots on where people, you know what I'm saying, where you're going to congregate, bro. If you want to meet yourself a lady, you want to be able to talk to somebody, right? Because everybody, you know what I'm saying, like, except for Sheen, right? Sheen may never have no boat booze. I, don't, I ain't do all that, bro. I'm too busy trying to get this money, man. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest with you. I was cutting hair. I'm doing deals on the ship. I got too much stuff to worry about than to be boat booed up under the red lights, right? Now, when I say the red lights, check this out, right? It's a time period during, um, like, every day is going to be called dark and ship, right? Now, when dark and ship gets called, right, that means that we turn on the red lights, right? Um, you know, like the white light. There's going to be no white light for the most part unless it's in your shop. It can't be connected to anything where you can go out to the, uh, uh, a weather deck, outside, nothing like that because we want to make the ship dark, all right? So it's going to be red lights because red lights emit less light than a white light. All right, so you're going to be able to, it's going to be called red light district. It's usually going to be up towards AIMD, you feel me? Like, like it's probably like on a carrier, what is that like? Mm, like TAC 40, right? Everybody that's not in the military yet, you're going to learn that. You're going to learn all that, right? But it's usually like a, a tech space, TAC 40, right? All my people on the Reagan know what's up. It's usually like right before the AIMD tunnel, right? You got like the horseshoe. 
right? People be caked up talking right there, you know what I'm saying? And near anywhere with a birthing for real. Right, birthings, uh, you know, you got weather deck, weather spaces, mess decks, you know, people always gonna have to go crazy on the mess decks, right? But that's really what it comes down to when it comes to dating um, and stuff like that. But don't take nothing too serious, bro. You don't wanna be that guy, right? Everybody gonna have their run-ins on the ship or whatever the case is, especially once you pull into port, right? But don't be that guy that catch feelings so fast, bro, that you was on here hurt when she's sitting with somebody else at the mess decks. Ladies, same thing. I can't tell you the amount of drama I've seen on board, right? Two girls fighting over a dude. Two dudes fighting over a girl. Bro, it's not that serious, bro. Listen, you don't wanna, listen, it's not It's not yours right now, bro. It's just your turn, bro, all right? So go ahead and, and, and none of that drama stuff, bro. We gonna keep it official, all right? Right, I mean, with that being said, man, I really don't know too many topics for me to speak on uh, professionally when it comes to like dating in the military. Uh, but what I can say, bro, I don't really suggest it, bro. I honestly went through my entire contract. Um, ne wasn't in a relationship until the end. You know what I'm saying? But I don't date nobody. I, I don't date people in the military, bro. I just wouldn't do it. It's, it just seemed like a, like a setup right now. You're going to have people... Because, listen, it's never a 100% thing. You're going to have unicorns out there, bro. Just because I said what I said doesn't mean... I don't want you guys... Let me wrap this up. I don't want you guys feeling like, okay, my sniff guard is cheating on me just because they're on deployment. Or um, they're cheating on me because of this, bro. They could be doing everything correctly, right? I'm just telling you what goes down most times, all right? Listen, so I don't, I'm not trying to say that anything is happening or your girl is doing this or your guy is doing that, right? But it's just the fact of the reality that most people do different things on deployment than they do when they're at when they're in port, all right, that's just that's just that's just the rules of the game, right? I would love for y'all, bro. If you got some crazy stories, definitely go ahead and put that in the comment section. All my OGs tap in, give that wisdom in the comment section, right? Because I understand that I may not know everything, right? I've been on I've been on three different deployments, right? But I don't know everything, right? So I need my OGs, my people, my salty sailors out there, people that's been in, right? You did 20 years, you may did 10 years, you did four years, whatever the case is. Go ahead and give some wisdom to all the new people, the people that may be coming in, or the people that may be in right now. Go ahead and give them some wisdom, please, um, on just what you think about dating in the military or how how it, how the stuff go down or, you know. But, you know, I definitely suggest, bro, this is not a job. And, and the reason I say this, the military is not a job you could just call off because you got your heart broke, bro. It's not something that you gotta still do everything you gotta do. I don't suggest dating on the ship because you're gonna have to see that person every single day, bro. I don't I don't suggest it. Because imagine you date that girl right now. Do you really wanna live out the rest of your ship, your days on the ship? Until you just I mean, of course you're gonna get over it sooner or later, but just the just the pain of having to see that person with somebody else, right? Or maybe multiple different people in right in front of you. If you built for that, then hey, shoot your shot. But if not, bro, then just cool it. Worry about getting y'all money, right? Get your money up, bro. You got a cash card on there, right? Learn a hobby, learn a skill. Right now, I'm out the military. I can keep stuff totally official with how we used to get down, bro. We cutting hair. We doing whatever we got to do, man. We getting this money, man. Learn a skill, learn a hobby, right? And be out there networking, bro. All the girls was homegirls to me. I wasn't trying to date them. I wasn't trying to do all that. I just was cooling it. You see what I'm saying? So... That's how you guys want to do it. All the bros, all the sisters, that's what it is, bro. We just networking. We making this money, right? We about to enjoy the mess out this about, about... We about to enjoy the mess out this port business when we pull in. That's what it's all about, man. Create memories, not drama, right? So I appreciate everybody if you go ahead and tune in into this video. I know it's a little bit spicy, something that we usually don't have. Um, but if you like content like this, let me know what type of videos you want to see in the future. Leave it in the comment section, all right, or DM me on Instagram. I appreciate everybody for watching this video. Hope you stay official like a referee with a whistle. Like I said, like the video, and I'm going to catch you later.